friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India this patient is 95 years old this is the left eye of this patient I have done surgery of the right eye about 10 years back let us observe this surgery the patient has eye face mild eye face We can see there is a thick Arcas senilis. By this time, the benign incision has been made, visco has been injected into the anterior chamber and applied over the corneal epithelium. And now, this is a side port on the left side of the main incision. And now, capsulorexis. This is a uterida forceps. We are having quite good red glow in this case. The microscope is OMS 800 or Topcon. The axis is done. And now hydro dissection. Hydro dissection is done with BSCs and 27 Gauss cannula. The nucleus is tapped. Some more mobilization, and we can see that the nucleus is rotating. Some more visco to fill up the anterior chamber. And now is the time to introduce the HECO probe. But I tried this first to see if I can divide this nucleus with this pre-chopper but I could not I should have gone to a deeper plane and try but it was superficial anyway we can manage this case once the nucleus is hard we can hold with FECO hand piece we can fold with vacuum and chop the nucleus the fecal needle goes with its bevel down some superficial cortical lens matter is aspirated and now this is direct job the nucleus is job this is the first crack rotate it few degrees hold at another place another job again rotate for few degrees about 15 or 20 degrees and another job in this way I am dividing this nucleus into many fragments you can see that the iris is getting incarcerated in the sideboard the size of the pupil has decreased so mild form of eye face is there in this case So my plan is to divide the nucleus into pieces and then manage the pieces single-handedly most of the time. And whenever a big piece is there, we can use the chopper. It is the chopper is used whenever necessary intermittently and now only the FECO handpiece goes in this free nuclear pieces are emulsified I'm trying to hold the free nuclear pieces 
here and here this piece appears quite big so I just use the chopper to divide it into two small, small pieces and by the time the iris got incarcerated in the sideboard and whenever this happens whenever the iris gets incarcerated in the wound I don't remove the chopper with irrigation on in this case I put off the irrigation and then remove the both the instruments the fecundidal as well as the chopper now I am using these two instruments two hooks again the feco needle goes in this is a totally unedited recording of the surgery real time so that you can follow the surgery very well again this is a big piece so I use the chopper to manage this piece then the chamber depth is fine no iris incarceration at this time but see a small nuclear piece is at the sideboard and it is not visible at this time but this small nuclear piece has to be removed otherwise we will need a second surgery after several weeks this small nuclear piece will settle inferiorly that is at 6 o'clock and overlying corneal endothelium will get damaged because of inflammation enlarge the main wound a bit to see if the nuclear piece comes out easily it is somewhere hidden here but because of the thick arcus senilis I can't see the small nuclear piece so I started removing the cortex and cortical matter from one o'clock to six o'clock is removed some more visco now I use the 23G Simco again remove the cortex from one o'clock then from six o'clock now I go through the sideboard and remove the cortex from 11 o'clock 10 o'clock and 9 o'clock here the cortex is not coming so what I do is I regurgitate it and then again aspirate and it comes now the cortex from 10 o'clock and 9 o'clock has been nicely removed but the small nuclear piece that is hidden somewhere superiorly behind the arcus is still there and this is Hanita HP a nice lens from Israel beautiful lens from Israel single piece monofocal intraocular lens the lens is tiled with the help of a Sinsky hook 
to position the lens nicely and now I'm going to remove the visco uh, as I'm removing the visco suddenly the nuclear piece is visible just in front of the main wound I don't waste any time immediately I inject some visco through the side port depress the posterior leaf and the nuclear piece small nuclear bit comes out And now again I start aspirating the visco 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. First I am using this instrument this is 23G Simco for some time. Then I use the bimanual irrigation aspiration. We must spend some time, some quality time to remove the visco. This is a very important step. Many surgeons don't give much importance to this step, much importance to removal of visco and what happens is the intraocular pressure arises and the patient becomes very uncomfortable. Patient even can have pain in the night patient comes next day with blurred vision and all because of retained visco the intraocular pressure increases there is steamy corneal edema to avoid all these things we must spend some quality time if we use visco for implantation of the intraocular lens yes it is done now I am using irrigation and aspiration together to remove all the visco that is there. See that I am lifting up the anterior leaf of the main wound and leakage of fluid is minimal and it keeps the antechamber formed even when we are using the main wound. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. Now the side port is nicely closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of the paracentesis wound. And then the final lavage of the anterior chamber. You can see that the anterior capsular rim is nicely overlapping the intraocular lens thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills the key points in this video is if you find that the there is incarceration of iris at the side port don't remove the chopper if you remove the chopper you will cause some iris injury please don't do that one more thing is if there is a small nuclear bit always try to remove it at the earliest opportunity. You can use some visco, depress the posterior leaf and remove it. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.